Hey everybody, Silver Seeker here, and we're coming at you with uh, a little bit of our gold stack. Now this isn't um, anywhere close to it, so I want you to subscribe and stay tuned in, and make sure you bell me, which means clicking on the little bell and keeping and then check marking to keep um, to get updated on my new uh, videos. Uh, because subscribing, uh, even though this is a new channel, I've been on YouTube for quite a while. Subscribing doesn't uh, do anything anymore, so. Uh, bell me, I would say. Subscribe and bell me. But anyway, uh, just to show you, this is um, this is one box here, and these are all different gold coins that I have. And then we're going to go over these slowly uh, over the course of you know the channel in the next few months, maybe a little bit more. Uh, we'll do a little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, but this is uh, two boxes full of different gold coins that I own as part of my stack. Um, today what I'm bringing you is some different um, different ones. So a couple of uh, new gold one ounces and sorry about the glare but you know we have the coin camera here. Um, and then um, uh, this is a ten dollar liberty from 1897 so we're going to look at some old gold as well. As well as what's under the coin microscope right now which uh, if you guys want to take a look at that this is Imperial Mexicano 1865. Uh, this is a Maximilian token so some of these are 14, some are 18, some are 24 karat gold, and then some are just plated. Uh, this one um, tested out as 18, um, so it's it's super super small as you can see um, by looking at. Here, let's see, we pull it in. You can't even see it because the glare. It's horrible. Ah, there you go. <laughs> so it's super. It's really small, um, but it's. Um, you know, it's it's really neat, uh, the history behind it. It's not an actual gold coin. It's more of a token that was handed out. Um, but yeah, so this one is gold, and it's kind of cool. Um, but anyway, let's take that off the screen, and we'll tell you why I put that under there later. Um, that's going to be a future giveaway. We're not doing it in this video. Um, but that is going to be a future giveaway that I'll explain here soon. And don't forget about the uh, dime giveaway in the video if you... A uh, few back, and yes, I am saying dime. It is a Mercury dime. You don't have to guess it anymore because all the responses obviously will tell everyone what it is, so they don't have to guess. They can just read the responses and post the same thing, and they will win, or they can just go there and respond to this video. Um, so, in my hand is this is a South African Kruger in. This is from 1978. Uh, this one has a really nice PL to it, which means proof like, uh, which is why it's so reflective. Uh, it's not actually a proof, but it has a really nice proof like finish to it. Um, it's a one ounce gold cougar and uh, so cougar ends aren't pure gold there's one ounce of gold in the coin but they're not actually pure gold they are mixed with copper which gives them more of a coppery look um, in my hand I can feel that it's definitely gold I mean gold has um, you know it's gold's a dense metal and when you're holding it you can just feel that that it's heavier than what you would expect it to be for its size um, and when you handle a lot of them like I have um, you can just tell by holding it that it's definitely not fake. I mean, all right, so I guess I should clarify. It could be uh, it could be that it's like lead because lead of this size would also feel that way. Um, so if it were if this were lead gold plated, then I wouldn't know unless I scratch tested it. So the other way I know is I got this from a reputable coin dealer. Um, which is what I recommend you do buying all of your coins. Get them from an actual coin dealer. Be careful with sites like eBay, especially people with super low feedback. There are reputable coin dealers on eBay, don't get me wrong. But just be careful, do your homework, and uh, don't buy fake coins. I bought this in a shop that's been around for a long time. Uh, the owner I know and uh, you know I trust. And um, I've never gotten anything fake from him. He has shown me some fake stuff that's came into a shop before. Um, but he has never sold any of it. Um, he, uh, you know, didn't even buy it. He was just given the items. But anyway, ooh, you didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. <laughs> I just dropped it. Oh, uh, that is unfortunate. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it took any damage. There's a couple nicks, but I think those nicks were there. I dropped it onto a flat surface, so I think I'm okay. Let's go ahead and zoom out. We were zoomed in for the Maximilian uh, 1865 token. We're going to zoom out so we can take a good look at this Cougar Rand. And then we'll switch over. All right, so you can see we have uh, fine gold, one ounce. Um, you got the, the initials of the maker there under the, under the, I believe that's a gazelle. It says Cougar Rand 1978. Or maybe that animal was called, I don't know. It looks like a gazelle. Um, I'm not super um, 
it, anyway. If, if that's not a gazelle, tell me what it is in the comments. How's that? All right, you see that nick in the edge here? I think I may have caused that when I dropped it. And that is unfortunate, and that's the risk I take when I'm handling coins. In fact, I'm wearing two sets of um, cotton gloves. I probably should have a plastic glove in this hand because it provides a better grip. Um, actually, we'll do it while we're recording. Why not? So I have a box that I keep handy. Okay. We are not dropping any more coins. So with the latex glove on, I have a better grip of the coins. I don't have to worry about dropping them as much. Okay. But I do think I caused that nick on camera. So congratulations to me. You guys got to watch me damage my own coin. Um, anyway, sweet Africa, sweet Africa. Can't quite pronounce that, uh, but I know it means South Africa, and that it says South Africa in English as well. So you can see, beautiful coin. Okay. Uh, next up, we have, let's see. Hold on a second. I just noticed something. My coin, so when I switch to the webcam, I noticed that it, because I changed resolutions to try and give you guys a better image, and I just noticed that I need to recenter this. So, okay, there we go. So they're back on camera down there in a the small camera in the corner. So next up, this is a one ounce American Eagle gold coin. So let's take a look in the camera here. This one is from 1997. It has an eagle on the back, bringing twigs to its nest. There's another eagle. Uh, basically comforting or holding its baby um, and they're sitting in a, um, a nest. Let's take a look under the coin scope and we'll switch back over to the coin camera. You can see 1997 you have Labor Lady Liberty on the front holding a twig and a torch. Looks like we're a little out of focus here. Let's fix that. Beautiful. Alright. She's draped in a blouse that's and standing in front of the rays of the sun you can see down here in the corner it's a capitol building um, looks like she's coming over a hill with the sun rays behind her so maybe the sun is setting um, flip over to the back he's got united states of america like i said you got the eagle looks like he has twigs in his claws bringing it to his uh maybe the other adult bird you know grasping a baby bird there in a nest that says one ounce fire and gold, fifty dollars, and that's I know it's still out of focus, isn't it? It's just not. I guess it's not focusing the whole point because we're zoomed too far out. But that's okay. Uh, in God we trust. E pluribus unum. Um, beautiful coin, great detail. Uh, I didn't drop this one, so we don't see any nicks on the edges. Okay. Next up, this one's a little bit different, and it's in a case. I'm not going to take it out of the case. Um, but here we have a um, Australian hundred dollar year the goat. Take a close look at that. The case is giving it kind of a glare, so it's hard to see in the webcam here. Need to get a better camera, maybe. Let's go ahead and throw it up under the coin microscope. All right, you see the reflection because we're we got the plastic casing on. Um, but 2003 one ounce four nines fine gold so 99.99% gold about as close as you're gonna get Canada does have a five nine gold maple um, but four nines is there's not there's not a big difference between the two I mean it's really close it's about as pure as it gets it's one ounce pure uh, I got Elizabeth the second Australia $100 she is queen of everything apparently IRB which I assume are the designers initials you can see that Queen Elizabeth has a proof reflective finish in America this would be called a reverse proof coin because the foreground is proof and the background is matte same goes for the front with the uh, with the goat so that's a beautiful coin there <clears throat> and then last but not least we have our 1897 $10 gold liberty. Now this is different from the other three. The other three are bullion coins that were made for bullion for the weight of the metal. Um, this one is made to be used as a coin. So this was actually made as a $10 coin to be spent as a ten, as $10 when it was released back in 1897 and prior. Uh, They're obviously $10 older than this one and newer. Uh, switching back over to the camera, we can take a look 
try and focus since it's a little bit smaller of a coin here. Uh, so the with this, it's not pure gold. It's 90% gold mixed with copper and I believe silver. Um, the uh, amount of gold in it is 0.48375 ounces, so just under a half ounce. Um, you can get that number by taking the amount of gold in a one or in a twenty dollar lib, which is called a double eagle, um, which is nine six seven five, and dividing that by two. Um, the reason this so a ten dollar liberty and ten dollar Indians and other ten dollar gold coins are actually called eagles. So this isn't just a single eagle, which is a ten dollar gold coin. You can see United States of America. In God we trust, ten dollars. You got the uh, heraldic eagle spread on the back with the shield holding twigs and arrows in his in his claws and then on the front uh, we have Lady Liberty um, you know beautiful hair detail this one has a little bit of rub on it but it's like a nice AU um, condition wise and we got the year we got the stars you can see all the stars still have their radial lines in them you can see all the dentals around the edge very beautiful coin um, so if you guys have ever heard of the term double eagle, which is a $20 gold piece, um, the term double eagle doesn't come from the fact that the eagle is spread and has two wings on the back, or some people think there's two eagles, or whatever it is. The term double eagle is just that it's double the amount of an eagle. So a $10 coin, or a $10 gold coin is an eagle, and a double eagle is just that, a $20 coin, hence the double. Uh, it has nothing to do with the picture on the back, which a lot of people think. Um, so... Hopefully that gives you sums up and gives you an idea. So switch back to our coin, our webcam here. So there is your Maximilian under there. So the thing with the Maximilian, um, we are going to give it away. Um, we're not gonna give it away very soon, um, but I want you guys to understand that I am going to give some really cool stuff away. Um, uh, I, after we get to 100 subscribers, we'll be giving away the Mercury Dime, which, by the way, someone guessed 1941 or 43. It's not that. It's actually in the 30s, the date on the on that one. Um, but uh, we're going to be giving away some other cool stuff. This one, I'll probably give away. I will do a video and let you know when. But it's going to be somewhere between 500 and 1,000 subscribers. Um, so if you guys subscribe to my videos, we'll have some other cool giveaways. And we might have something between the Merc and this, uh, just depending on what it is. But this, again, not this video. Don't leave a comment asking about the giveaway. This is not for that. Uh, this is specifically just telling you that this is something that we'll be, we will be giving away in the future of this channel. Um, so you guys want to stay tuned. And like I said, make sure you bell me. Um, and we will talk to you later. Peace. And we'll see you in the next video.